Emptiness does not mean uh, non-existence. Many people think uh, to be empty means means uh, non, not existing, but it's not true. In the Ha Sutra, we recite form is emptiness, and emptiness is form. There is uh, there is a glass with some tea. And this glass is not empty. It has some tea in it. And there is another glass that has no tea. To be empty or not empty, the glass has to be there. In order to be empty or not to be empty, the glass has to be there. So emptiness does not mean non-existing. The emptiness of the glass does not mean the non-existence. It does not mean the non-existence of the glass. It is there, but it is empty. It's like uh, this flower. It's beautiful. It's a wonder of life. It is the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is inside. But the flower is impermanent and it is empty. And empty does not mean non-existing. When we, when we look deeply into a flower like this, we see, we have the impression that the flower is full of everything. There is a sunshine inside. There is a cloud inside. There is uh, the earth, the mineral. Even our consciousness is in the flower. Time, space, everything. It looks like uh, everything in the cosmos have come together in order to help the flower to manifest as a wonder. So the fact is that the flower is full of the cosmos. It's like a piece of bread that you are about to eat. Eating mindfully, you look at the piece of bread and you see that the piece of bread that you are holding, it is the body of the cosmos. Everything is there in the piece of bread. The sky, the earth, the sun, the cloud, the earth, everything. When you celebrate the Eucharist, you say that this bread is the body of Jesus. And when you mindfully put the piece of bread into your mouth, you connect with Jesus. Communion. Mindfulness allowed uh, miracles of uh, the miracle of uh, of communion, of uh, connection to happen. In the Buddhist uh, tradition, you say that the piece of bread is the body of the cosmos because it contains all the cosmos in it. And the flower also, the flower contains the whole cosmos. And the flower is full of the cosmos. But why the Bodhisattva Avalokita say that everything is empty? So we can ask uh, the Bodhisattva of deep listening, Dear Bodhisattva, you said that everything is empty. But we see that everything is full of the cosmos. To be empty means to be empty of something.
this glass is empty of tea, right? But it's not empty of air. It's full of air. <laughs> so the intelligent question is empty of what? Mr. Bodhisattva, you say that everything is empty. Empty of what? It's full of the cosmos. And the Bodhisattva will smile and say, it is empty of a separate existence. It is full of everything else. But it doesn't have a separate existence. Because a flower cannot be by herself alone. The flower is made only of non-flower elements. Sunshine is a non-flower element. Cloud is a non-flower element. And there is a multitude of non-flower elements coming together to produce a flower. So a flower cannot be by herself alone. To be means to interbe. A flower has to interbe with everything else. She has to interbe with the sunshine, with the cloud, with everything else. She does not have a separate existence. So being means co-being. Existing means coexisting. So a flower cannot be by itself alone. A flower has to interbe with everything else. To be means to interbe.